Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and I am staffed I'm staffed uh, I'm just gonna take Danny home now, he's following me put him on motorway and then I'm going home, it's been a long day uh, I've enjoyed it better, I've enjoyed it, uh, <laughs> Danny still not know how to get home from here, uh, everywhere's flooded round here at the moment I've been told so we're going to have to go on a de little detour, but Dennis will beat me in that thing he's got. It parks itself, doesn't it? Braking system on them new BMW is unbelievable. <laughs> it's flashing me now. Look what we've got here. Is that better? Is that better? Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's not that good, is it? Uh, so what have we learned from tonight then? Well, the food that we've just had, obviously I've had a gastric band so uh, I can't get big portion sizes down me but uh, the food that we had in there tonight were gorgeous and I'd recommend anybody anybody who wants to uh, anybody who wants to go and have an Indian meal in <coughs> in Doncaster, Rotherham, Mexborough, surrounding areas I recommend going to Goa Spice I recommend going to Goa Spice because gorgeous food, gorgeous really nice whoops whoops a daisy, I've got the wrong way that's not very good of me is it? But yeah, I recommend going there to go a spice. I recommend going there. I think the food is gorgeous, really, really nice. Um, the staff there are fantastic. Honestly, the staff there. Are... Lal, there's a top bloke. He's a friend of Mick Whale and John Joe Irwin's. So thank you very much to Mick Whale and John Joe Irwin. Uh, I think Dennis has just sent a, a vid wants me to put a video out a message to Mick Whale. You know, Mick Whale are getting on well, aren't they? Do you know what? And you know, f funny thing is, actually, when I first started working with Mick Whale, I've, obviously I was a bit dubious because uh, when you're working with father and son teams in boxing. They want best for the lad, don't they? Sometimes you can think that they don't want their lad to fight a certain fighter unless the reward's good or... There's loads of permutations to how you can deal with things and... and I think Dennis has dealt with people like that before. You can either be hands-on. I mean, Steffi Bull, he's hands-on, and he? He's on shot floor every day. He's a good boxing bloke. Dennis has just said to me, he's a good bloke, Steffi. I know we don't... Uh, I know we don't uh, get on that well lately, but he is a good boxing bloke, isn't he? Flooded here, look at that. Uh, but he is on shot floor, isn't he, Steffi? But it's, it's a hard sport, isn't it, boxing? And maybe Dennis hasn't been on shot floor in the last few years, and he could have done a lot better. But he's had a lot on, hasn't he? I mean, we've just had a chat there about his mum. You know, his mum and dad have died, have died, haven't they now? And it's hard for him, isn't it? He's got a lot on his plate, but I'd say he's more focused than ever with boxing now, and I think he's got a point to prove. And 
you know, he's just been to London there for a week and it's all boxing related stuff. Some of the things that he's just told me about have blown my mind and I'm itching to say some work because you know what I'm like, I like to keep my followers abreast of things but you know there's just some things I can't say but I'm right pleased our things are going on and I think Dan's pleased as well. I'll tell you what, old Denim is not looking too good for all this flooding is it? I'm all right. Uh, I know a lot of people keep uh, having a little pop about certain things on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to say the names, but the people who keep having a pop on the YouTube comments, I do see them. And what can I do? What can I do if I must be doing something good if they're having a pop at me? So that's what. That's all I'm going to take from it, to be honest. But the channel's doing really good at the moment. I'm getting uh, I'm getting what I want from the channel. I'm satisfied. And as long as my peers, people in boxing who I respect, and I respect a lot of people in the boxing industry, people around the boxing industry, people who do podcasts, people who are trainers, people who fight ex-fighters, crazy mad fans who like to come on podcasts and give their opinion I'm up for all them sort of people uh, they're my peers, they're my kind of people do you know what I mean? my people used to be people who take drugs people who used to sit in at houses, drug dens taking drugs all day that's what I used to do, take drugs all day drugs were my best mates I loved drugs loved them but now I'm, I'm, I'm in a different I'm in a different I'm in a different place now, I'm more mature. Um, look at holes in the road here, man, Jesus. If I've got a dint in my alloy there, I'll be suing council tomorrow. And if them won't follow them now, is he following them? I'll be pulling up now and getting my torch out and checking my alloy. If there's a scratch on that, you know, I'll be getting a form into council tomorrow. If anybody runs over an owl in your car and it damages it, go to the council, you get a form. Then go to main dealers, get a quote for uh, an alloy and a tyre if it's damaged your tyre. And they will pay you because there is a policy, there's a fund to pay you from it. But, you, but no, they're not going to tell you this, I've done it before, I had a Renault Laguna years ago when my children were born. It was a... Uh, Laguna Estate, top at range, had it chipped and everything. I ran over uh, an owl in road and it, and it put a dint in alloy. I, sh I sued him, didn't I? Well, not sued him, filled for him from council. And I got paid out for a brand new alloy and a tyre. I think it was about 600 quid or something. I'm sure it was something like that. I was like, get on there. So if my wheel's damaged tomorrow, I'll be sorting that. Owls at Bisley Road. And you're paying 145 quid a year road tax. It's a joke, isn't it? Well, getting back to today's meeting, very positive, uh, very positive, as regards the boxing, very positive, uh, moving forward, it's all looking good, all looking good, but then again, you know, I could have one meeting with Dennis Me, and I could just flip my lid and just say, do you know what, I don't want to wait with you again, Dan, I'll just flip my lid on drop of an hat. Sometimes I can get him in the wrong mood and I could be in the wrong mood and we'll clash. That's just how I am. That's just how I am. My toys will be hard at pram, trust me. Right, left here, Matt. Left, yeah, one Roberts. In your lane. I must have been rolling back there when I did. Come on, what are you doing, man? Why is it 
dělají má sekvenci, slaufa. What are you going slow for? I could have gone that way and gone through um, through the stag roundabout and gone that way. Yeah, well you can go right here now and it brings you out of Ellaby if you follow me here. Yeah? yeah, I know where to go. I'll turn right on Rush, you get off back home and only way from here pal. Alright then, I'll see you, I'll, I'll give, you, give me a ring when you get in then, yeah? Alright, take Alright Rush, thanks for tonight pal. Alright, bye bye. Bye. Bye Bye. bye. <laughs> Well, he's gone up there anyway, now. <laughs> Jesus. I might as well have picked him up, haven't I? <laughs> anyway. Oh, no, nah, for big porky. Get that heater off. One thing about Mercs, they've got good eaters on them, haven't they? We should have had Frank there tonight, shouldn't we Frank, me and De Dennis says to me. If we'd have Frank here, our friend from Berry and Rami, would have been a good night. <laughs> Crap when there's two on you, innit? But I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed that tonight. Um, I think boxing is looking alright for them, but like I said, it's... Uh, I've got to start thinking of myself with the channel now, haven't I? There's going to be some big changes after Christmas with channel, I don't know what, but... I don't know, we're going to have to see, but... I might be having to charge people to go on channel. It's one of them things, isn't it? There's a lot of effort going in and no reward, is there? What time is it? 9.48? It's still early, isn't it? It's still early. You know what I feel like doing now? I've had a bit of food and a bit of wine. I feel like going out having a few more glasses of wine. I can't drink when I've had something to eat. But then it leads to other things, doesn't it? So I might as well just go home and I save me spending 100 quid. <laughs> 